Hi guys, James from Technical Support here again. Uh, on this video, we're going to show you how to calibrate your touchscreen on the NNSC1001 kit, the Nissan Infinity Interface. Uh, this is in our 2009 Nissan Maxima. Um, once the kit is installed, you got the Nissan screen here. You're simply just going to touch the screen anywhere, and it brings up the directus screen. And now, with the mouse plugged in, you're going to need the mouse for this, so plug the mouse into the brain. Wait for the navigation to launch. Okay, now that the navigation has launched, this is what your screen will look like. You're going to use your mouse and you're going to hit the red icon in the lower left corner. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to exit the program? You're going to hit the exit button. And now you come up to our 8 button HMI. In the bottom right corner, we're going to click the next button. And then the top left, we're going to click the settings button. Now you're going to enter your password of 7777, and we're going to click OK. At this point, the only portion of this that you ever would need to use is going to be the calibration button or the UART button up here at the top right for a Bluetooth or a radar kit. So right now we're going to calibrate the screen. And as you can see, now we have the crosshairs in the center of the screen. I'm going to turn my mouse upside down so it doesn't interfere. And now I'm just going to press that and follow it around the screen. Now that we're done, I'm going to click the exit button. Now your kit is completely calibrated. So to test the kit, we can go through and now we're not using the mouse. We can hit the back button, back it out again. Now we can launch the navigation and verify that everything works. Okay, now that we see that the navigation is launched, now we're going to check a few things to make sure the calibration works. So we'll just mess around with some settings here. You can go to your volume settings. And you notice you can turn it up and down with the slider. Back out of here. And we're going to go ahead and go to the map screen. Now, if for some reason you're not getting any sound through your navigation, click the show map button and then the top right here. If you have the red X on the speaker down here, that would be your navigation volume. So just go ahead and click that so you can hear your, your uh, taps on the screen. Now that everything works, you are completely done.